When you think about a burger joint, well, you're probably thinking the all-American burger with the shake and the fries and the whole giddy-up, unless you're here in San Diego, where two dudes from Germany who got out of fine dining, well, these cats will make a burger out of just about anything. You gotta check out Tioli's Crazy Burger. Kangaroo Burger. Kangaroo Rare. Who And Gator Burger. Mm. That's fantastic. They have ostrich, all kinds of crazy, including the sauces. Chutney, fruit, the wine-infused pears. Orange glaze. A very sweet sauce. Mm. This is fabulous. <laughs> Where did that come from? From Chef Lothar Mann's. Sauerkraut on potato salad, yeah. And his buddy, Wolfgang Peter Schlick. Let me ring you out. Two restaurant guys from Germany yeah. who wanted to put a twist. Venison burger. On an American classic. We just wanted to be different. Here we go. So they took over an Italian place named Tioli's. Ciao, Bella. You said, if we keep the name Tioli's, but we're just gonna throw Crazy Burger on the end. Ah! Oh. We started with a thousand burgers a month, and now we're doing seven thousand. Seven thousand a month. I've got the Gator Burger. I get to eat alligator burger, and you don't. What part of the alligator is this? Man, well, this is a sirloin. First, we cut it a little bit smaller. Anything else going in there? Nice. Nothing. Nada. Ground up gator. Do you ever serve tater with gator? No. James Spader likes gator. Okay, so you get a little pat. So you yeah. can just keep making them like that, but that. Well, that's a big one. Yeah, this is uh, seven ounces. You're gonna eat it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's like the surface of the sun, brother. Whoa. We put it the burger on. This side is not so hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where it's white. Not so hot there. Now the homemade season. This is salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic powder. And that's it, just a little tip. For the gravy, we make a little bit of water first. I don't know that I've seen many gravies start off with just water in the pan. Dried bananas and even more dried fruit. Apples, apricots, and plums. Heavy cream and curry. All right, this is odd. Dried fruit, some curry, and a little bit of cream. That's your idea. Yes, my idea. Right up there with the crazy part. <laughs> Burger buns, it's a little bit crispy. Is it ready? Yes, we got it. And then our reconstituted curry fruit dry. That's great. I gotta tell you, I never thought I would really like it. Look at that. That's awesome. Great flavor to it. And the curry fruit thing, you know what? That's crazy. It actually tastes like a pork cutlet. It seems like all the flavors meld together to make one very fine burger. They have all kinds of burgers pretty far out there. This is the kangaroo burger. You have to meet from Australia. It's also really lean, 9 to 10. It's a marsupial. Yeah. Big word for me. So not a lot of pressure on it so it doesn't oh, become tough. No, 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 no. So this is ready to go? This is finished. Same yeah. thing, put it on that nuclear hot grill. Let's put it in the grill, yes. Magic seasoning, salt, the pepper, the paprika, and the garlic. This we serve with uh, horseradish cream, mayonnaise, half sour cream. OK. A little bit of horseradish. All right, I like the way this is going. Some salt, white pepper. All right. Another black one on the lemon juice. There we go. And the white pepper so it doesn't, the black pepper doesn't exactly. stand out. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Baked I'd like to see this on a baked potato. It's on this film. One of the things I talk about when you're cooking burgers, use really high temperature. If you want to let it go farther, then put it to the cool area, but sear both sides. Really put a nice crust on it. Your burger? That's it, huh? Have fun? Try I don't know that I... Try it. Try it. Try it. Okay, yeah, you try it, too. Okay. Right now on Triple D, someone's enjoying the burger a little bit more than the host. Princess bite, crazy bite. Great flavor, not overcooked. Horseradish cream sauce is dynamite on there. I like that. And so do you. Huh? Of course I like what I cook. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting out of control. It's very lean, it's very good. It's very unique. If I didn't know it was something different, I would think it's hamburger. They have best burgers in town. The burger, it's an all-American thing. Look at this. And remember, there we go. Served up by a couple of dudes from Germany. I need a brie. In an old Italian restaurant. It's a crazy variety. <laughs> you think? Ostrich with lemon chive cream sauce. It's got a good balance to it, a little tanginess to it, just mellows it out. And check out the venison. It's mildly gamey, but I think it's offset by the sweet cream and the wine infused pears they put in it. It's really quite good. Van Santorini. Santorini. Half lamb, half beef. It's exotic. Greek. That's a half pound lamb, half pound beef. Oh, how big of a burger is this? Two half pound burgers. You give two out, so you have to order it with a friend? I like one too. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to share this one. This we share. Oh, I like the way you roll. <laughs> so you're a lamb lover, huh? Oh, yeah. All thing with lamb. I love it. The salt, pepper. What's going to go on this? On this, we make a tzatziki sauce. It's a Greek tradition. Sour cream and yogurt. We have cucumber, 
fresh garlic, a fresh mint, a little bit salt, white pepper, and the lemon juice. And you let that set for a little bit to let the flavors marry. That's yummy. You just love to flip the burger. Yes, I'm the over flipper. You're the over flipper. Yes. That's what they call it. Look how juicy that is. Mm, that's awesome. The tzatziki and the lamb and the beef. Man. Ah, yeah. And the sauce, it's amazing. The lamb and sauce, you know, all together, it makes a really great burger. It's not like a regular burger joint. If you look for a black and white car in a parking lot, you know you got a good place to eat. Everybody loves a good burger. Good eats, brother. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Give me the pose. <laughs>